when you have to make a documentation of nuisance problems in your neighborhood, write down the date and time of the incident, whether it's a barking dog, somebody playing music, somebody idling their engine, and um, that kind of um, stuff. Anytime you write down a date and time, okay, that's better than not doing it at all. If you are able to get a picture or video of these incidents and and put it with the date and time, then that'll make things go a little bit easier. The police are not going to do anything but put a special attention to the area anyway. So if you do have some evidence or a video or picture of certain activities and what time these um, things are happening like increased traffic or anything like that, then you need to write down the date and time and be accurate and be honest and sincere. That's the first thing. The next is time. If the, if the problem persists, then you have to let the Department of Public Safety know, um, your city council, uh, the mayor's office, and try to inform people who live in that area where you live at that if they are experiencing the same thing, they have the right to complain to the city council and the police and the mayor's office and uh, the Department of um, Public Safety. And you can also contact the commander's office and the officer in charge. These are persons that are the ones you need to contact to let them know what is happening and who is causing the nuisance problem. If the police do not see what you've reported, that doesn't mean that you are, you know, making up a fictitious story. It just means that sometimes when the police come out, they don't always see the problem. But if you have other people who write down the date and time of incidents with loud, annoying nuisances like a barking dog, a loud idling engine, or somebody revving the engine, or somebody driving erratically, um, you know, then those are things that you can still um, write the date and time of. So don't let that be uh, a cause for alarm because the police don't always catch a lot of this stuff when it comes to a nuisance problem or illegal dumping or anything like that or increased traffic. So therefore, do your best to do what you can. And if you do have to contact the police and they, and they say they didn't see any evidence of a nuisance problem like loud music or something like that or drug trafficking, or like anything like that that doesn't mean that it didn't happen so there is my word to persons who who are some of the advocates to uh, try to uh, deter these nuisance problems in your neighborhood